my fellow dragon crew watching right now this is dragon and welcome back to another episode of friday night funkin so today i rather do something a little bit different on the friday night funkin series i'm doing i rather play a full mod yes that's right i would be playing the full friday night funkin soft mod so let's just go ahead so let's just go ahead and give this a shot Warning, this mod handles topics that may find very triggering. It is possible to play the mod safely by pressing shift to skip dialogue. Triggers may include implied domestic abuse, physical signs of domestic abuse, PTSD, mentions of Pico school. If you are a victim of domestic violence, remember that you are not alone. Enjoy the story. Okay, well, you heard that guys, if you really aren't a fan, this video isn't really for you, but uh, this is pretty much gonna be, I don't know, this is pretty much gonna be text anyway. Let's go ahead and set my keybinds here. Oops, wrong key. There we go. Now we are set. Let's do a little bit of story mode here. Uh, preface. Oh, okay, there's chapters here. All right, let's start with this one. The song I'm doing is called Star Crossed. And I think we might have something interesting in this mod. This is another mod that actually caught my attention. Whoa. Oh, hello. The City of Stars. A place where the celebrities and rich live lavishly. The not so fortunate struggle to thrive day by day. Two boys who have been on the run for two weeks are spotted dashing into an alleyway as the sun begins to set over the skyline. A high school dropout and a notorious graffiti artist named Pico. And boyfriend, a blue haired boy on the somewhat shorter side with aspirations of becoming a painter. Hmm. Okay. So this is different. The two come to a halt, visibly out of breath. Another close call. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. This is the third time this week we've almost been caught. I I know. With them blastering your face all over town, it's inevitable that someone will eventually find us. Hmm. We both know how they settle things. We need to prepare for it. Hmm. I told you running away wasn't a good idea. I can't do this. What if... Boyfriend. When he... Baby Blue. Wait. Oh, Baby Blue. Oh, so there's kind of like a boyfriend ex Pico thing here. Okay. Baby Blue, you worry too much. I've got your back every step of the way. How about we do a practice round? Repeat after me. Song. I like how boyfriend's holding the paintbrush too. Oh jeez. Okay, that was... 
Jeez. Okay. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> How was that? You did great. I knew you could do it. Really? Mm hmm. Though, we should probably get a move on before. Footsteps could be heard at the entrance of the alleyway, interrupting their heartfelt conversation. I think I heard them. Hmm? What? There you are. Wait, wait, what? What is it? Father Ferris. Oh, wait. Isn't that supposed to be... Isn't that Daddy Dearest? I think that was supposed to be Daddy Dearest. Hmm. A man stepped out of the shadows. He goes by the name Father Ferris. A retired rap battler whose name is well known by the youth as it is by the generations before them. Yeah, this is pretty much Daddy Dearest. His voice was his claim to fame, but nowadays he lives very well off with his beautiful wife. And up until a few weeks ago, his talented son. Wait, sport? We've been looking for you. Wait, that's his dad? Hmm, see so you're running around with that street rat again. Nice to see you too. I, I'm sorry, Dad. I can explain. So, you think you're all grown up now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you're such an adult, then you should have no problem beating me in a rap battle. Huh? Come on, sport. Show me what you got. Um, Three, sure. Two, one. Oh. I remember the song. Okay. Twist. Uh, yeah. Can I please restart that song? Thank you. I don't. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shift. Shift. Skip. Three, two, one. There we go. Sound just as good as your old man. It's a real shame that you're putting all that talent to waste. Wait, wait, what? Hey, don't listen to him, Softy. Your mother and I built this perfect life for you so you could become a star. And you want to be what? A painter? Doesn't that just sound ridiculous? Just listen to me for once. Speak up, I can't hear you. Oh, wow, now you're just being a dick. It's my life. Oh, is it now? I think we're about to see something here. 
Three, two, one, go. I think we're about to see something here. Okay. And I see we're doing dad battle. Another one I know well. Here we go. Let's see if I can perfectly let last time. Perfect it again. We still got it. Awesome. Now, what happens next? Hmm. You know, it's been a real pain trying to find you these past couple weeks. Let's make a deal, hmm? If you can beat me in this next song, we can forget this all ever happened. Really? Really? Don't trust him, B. I... Okay. I guess it's time to finally whip you in the shape. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! This is... That's new. That's new. This is... No cigar. This is what the song is called. Okay. Nothing changes. The song's still good. The song's easy. I can see it easy. The song's pretty chill. I like it. over yet. Exactly sure. Okay, we did it. All right. Jesus, I was wondering what was going on. Anyway, you did it. I. Yeah. I guess I did. So um, we're free to go, right? Come on, sport. Wait, what? We never raise an idiot. Oh, he tricked them. Oh God. I didn't actually think I was leaving empty handed, did you? Wh whoa! No, st stay away from me! Keep your hands off him! Oh! Pico! 
Come on. I know a place we can hide. Wait. Whoa, okay. Wow. All right. Let's go to the next one. Hair raising hideout. Oh. Okay, next. Jeez. Okay. Wow, okay. Lost for words there. The moon had risen over the cityscape after the sun went to rest. It's its head for the night. Clouds joined in to keep it company, storming a stormy ruckus to keep it awake. Our protagonists found themselves taking cover in a building which was long overdue for a visit. Or at least, that's what they thought. It was near impossible to see three feet in front of them when there wasn't a strike of lightning to bright up the room, leaving the two on edge. I don't know about this place, Pico. Well, you got a better place to hide? No. But an abandoned mansion? It's scary. It's unsettling. It's... it's... It's a spooky! Yeah, exactly. You took your words right out of my mouth, Pico. That wasn't me. Uh-huh. Then who? Hey, mistress. Oh, God, you're creepy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> beep. <laughs> Relax. It's just a couple of kids. Oh, wow. Okay. What the hell are you two doing here? I am Skid, and this is Pump. We are doing the spooky things during the spooky month. It is October. Spooky month. It's November. Isn't it a bit late? Hush, let them be. Hey, wait, you look familiar. Oh? Yeah, yeah, your dad is super famous. Also, we've seen your face on posters all over town. Yep, they're on him. My mom has tapes of Mr. Ferris singing. We watch them all the time. Hey, 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 can you sing too? Uh, well, yes. Then let's do a rap battle. Probably not the best idea. Please. All right, little dudes. You've got to be kidding me. Pico is like, that's a one, none of that. Ah, uh, this song, I know this one. All right, here we go. I remember having problems. Let's hope I make them up. Are they wearing are they wearing pajamas? They look like they're wearing pajamas. You guys see that? Okay, I didn't miss more than once. I'll take the one once. I'll take the one once. There we go, we're getting somewhere. we go, we did it. Gotta say, this is pretty good. I'm actually in love with the mod. Wow. You guys are way tougher than I thought. That was fun. Let's do another. Oh, you want to keep going? Sure. We can even show you the spooky dance this time. Dance, yeah, 
It's where you kind of crouch and then you dance. We'll show you. I'm actually not that not that much of a dancer. But one more go shouldn't hurt. Are you sure about this, babe? You look like you need to sit down. It'll be fine, Pico. They're just kids looking for fun. I don't want to let them down. Yay! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Jeez, imagine doing that dance. Like, okay, if you're... If you know Friday Night fucking well more than I do, you will use Skin and Pump as a meme in October. Just let you guys know that. Alright. I love this song very good. right now if there is another week to this i'm gonna do a gameplay on it i'm just letting you guys know depends how good this mod can be right now it's right now it's intriguing me gotta say they really worked their butts off on this I gotta say wait and what felt like a blink of an eye everyone disappeared boyfriend was alone with only let me try again boyfriend was alone with only the sound of raindrops hitting the creaky roof above him. Except for one other thing. Oh, we're gonna have the lemon demon? Oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. A tall, slender beast stood where the two kids once were. Wait, what? It, I'm, it's the lemon demon, is it? He looked so familiar. Probably because he, his visits were more than common. But it was a lot more than just that. And okay, show me. What? No. Not you again. Wait. That is not the lemon demon. I was actually expecting the lemon demon showing up, but what the hell is that? May I help you, sir? Like, are you? Do you need some water? Or, I mean, you got smoke on you. Do you, I'm pretty sure you need some water, but okay. Why are you here? Just say nothing. Why now? He's he's quiet. He's not. What do you even want? He's not saying anything. It's, it's just getting weird. I don't know why I bother asking anymore. Just leave me alone. Please. Watch him just say no. I'm tired of this. He just says no. Wait. Whoa! Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is new. Repressed. type of wolf I ever seen. You guys can correct me all you want. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying what it is. For me.
If the game lags, I'm sorry, but it's, it's clear on my end. Oh, this is gonna be more of a challenge. Here we go. Messed it up. So much for going perfect. He waking up? Softy, can you hear me? Yeah. Boyfriend, what happened? You were unresponsive. It was him again. Are you okay? Yeah, it's over. At least for now. Wait, where are the kids? I don't know, man. They said something about getting a candy can. What? Don't worry though. We got a ride from someone in the white van. Oh! Oh, I... I'm not saying anything. You know I'm not good with kids. They what? Did I say something wrong? You did. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, there's the subject. Let's do it. This place gives me the creeps. Beep. On second thought, maybe we should stay here until morning. For clarifications, no spooky boys were harmed in the creation of the chef. Oh, thank, oh, thank God! <laughs> oh man, that, that got me relieved. Okay. Whew. That was close. Okay. Next one, but childhood friend. Wait a second, is that who I think it is? That's who I think it is. After what felt like a never ending night. Oh, hold on, I see some familiar faces. Let's, let's, let's look at those first. I see Tabby, I see Cappy. Ah, uh, forgot that girl on the right. I don't know who that is. Both Kiko and boyfriend were quite easily the opposite of well rested. The two did not want to overstay their welcome, however. Left the house of horrors, which was actually a lot scarier in the daytime. On foot, they spent a better part of the morning heading across town to a local train station. The last thing they wanted to do stick around long enough to get into even more trouble. Where's that damn train? Relax, it'll be here soon, I'm sure. You better come quick. You've already been sent back twice. Yeah, I know. Boyfriend! I haven't seen you in weeks. Hey, oh, that's girlfriend, okay. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out and about. Hey, you know what would be fun? A duet, just like old times. 
I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. We'll be done before it shows up. I promise it'll be quick. You know how I feel about promises. Okay. Son of a... <laughs> Three, two, one, So go. we finally... Yeah, these are all new songs. I don't remember Girlfriend being basic Girlfriend, except in the tutorial. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just, just focusing. Did it. Oh shit, hold on. I fuck. Hold on, guys. Please do not corrupt my recording. Okay, I didn't corrupt it. Okay, let's just keep going. Wow, you handled that first song like a champ. You were always the better singer. You know, your parents and I have been worried sick about you. When are you gonna come back? I... You are coming back, right? I'm not, girlfriend. I'm sorry. Oh, enough of that silly talk. Maybe this will change your mind. Three.
checking my recording still in. Okay, still in, thank God. I really should be going now. Boyfriend, tell me something. Why are you so interested in this criminal? Criminal. Can we please not do this right now? It was supposed to be the two of us since the beginning. You promised. Our parents promised. Why are you doing this to us? To me. Girlfriend, you don't understand. You remember what he did back in high school, right? There is the Pico school. He is the whole reason we had to get privately tutored. You are literally picking a okay, we're skipping that part. You know damn well that's not what happened that day. Without him, you and I could have died. No. Mom and Dad told me so. They would never lie to me. Listen. No, you listen, you liar. You are coming home with me, and we are going to live out our happily ever after. Together. Three, two, one, go. Oh, God, this is good. Okay. How tough is this going to be? Come on, show it. To be honest, though, I do feel bad for girlfriend. I really do. But... 
this this, this wasn't how it was meant to go. I'm sorry. That life we they they made for us doesn't exist. It's not fair. Why? Why him? I can help who I love, girlfriend. Neither can I. How could you do this to me? Gee, don't be like that. We're still best friends. We can still hug things out. Right? A white limo came to a screeching halt in front of them. Uh, Softy? Not to interrupt or anything, but we've got a problem. Wait, what? What do you mean a problem? Oh boy. Okay, I see what was coming up next. I'm guessing this is boyfriend's mom, which I assume. Oh boy, this is not gonna end well. How much you guys wanna know if this ain't gonna end well? Let me know. Let me know. While in the middle of a stressful conversation, our two boys are swept up from the streets faster than light. Startled, they glance in all directions. Yet they only find the wind in their hair, cars flashing by. And unwelcome yet beautiful fate. Ugh, sorry. Mother Marist? Yeah. Hi, Mom. I called it. Yep. They were right there. There's my sweet little baby. We've been all so worried about you. I'm okay, I swear. Oh, darling, you know how mama worries. Oh, dude. Classic mom play right here, guys. <laughs> you had your fun, but I think it's time to come home, don't you? Yeah, oh boy, here we go. Mom. I... No. Honey, I need a yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. What are those henchmen? I hate this song. I hate this. Ch I hate the chart of it. <sighs> okay, at least we did it. I'm not gonna be surprised what happens. Is it what I think it is? Yep. That's where you. That's where boyfriend's mother gets pissed. Great. There we go. Hmm. Sweetheart, you see how ridiculous this is, don't you? What do you mean? Well, it's obvious. My perfect little boy has his 
has had his mind tainted by that pest. Filling your head with all kinds of lies. You fucking whore. Damn! <laughs> all I've ever done is carry love for him. Or, yeah, that's more than you or your monster of a husband can say. Damn, got her! Kiko. Zip it. There is nothing wrong with our family. We love you so much. Why don't you just come with me? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm not going with you. Hmm. Fine. Be that way. Three, two, one, go! And here's the classic. Classic. comes. Let's do it. Ah, uh, did a little better. I do know this is the old chart, so... I know the old chart has like those little hole things. Almost to a hundred thousand. I will make it one day. One day I will make it. Anyway, moving on. Let's see what let's see what happens next. Enough of this. I have tried and tried and tried to make what you see what a mistake you're making. Clearly, you're too stupid to see that. Stop. You better drop this act and learn to respect your mother this instant. Damn. Or else. Okay, I've had enough of this. Softy. Silence, vermin. You can't decide things for him. She's right. Whoa! Okay. What? I have to decide for myself. And I've decided to live the life I want to live. He just turned it back on her! <laughs> okay! You've always been such a pathetic excuse of a son. Three, two, one, Ouch! That, that hurts. Okay, this is new. Ah, that killed me. Good luck for me, guys. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh, uh. 
thought I missed one. Then. Yeah, we got it. Oh. She's pissed. I'll tell you that. Ugh. You selfish little brat. I'm gonna make you regret ever thinking you had a choice in all this. Softy. Huh? Jump. Babe, I love you. But we are on top of a moving car. <laughs> are you crazy? Do you trust me? I... Do you trust me? Yes? Then on the count of three, close your eyes and jump. One... Wait a minute. Two... Isn't there like a plan B or something we could try? Three... Screw it, he's jumping! I mean, plan B would be push her off the damn car! <laughs> I don't know. Anyway... Now... Chapter 5. Here we go. Let's. Hope you guys are enjoying the mod so far because this mod's really good. I gotta admit, this is a good mod. Wow, we've been going on for 50 minutes. Okay. Despite being battered and bruised, Pink Going Boyfriend found solace in one another's company. While healing, a treacherous month flies by, which they tend to spend tending to the wounds. Damn it, I can't read. <laughs> Soon the boys feel well and brave enough to face the streets once again. Signs that the holiday season litter the scene with snowflakes dancing in the air, golden bells ringing, and children laughing. A crowd of strangers whispers to one another in excitement, waiting beside a sign that reads, Annual Holiday Ferris Meet and Greet. Oh, God, no. Two boys enjoy the winter season with smiles, distracted by one another's company. I can't believe you're actually making me wear this. Jesus, Pico, cut the attitude. What? You look adorable. I know. <laughs> That's the problem. Come on, Tuffy. This is our first time out in about a month. At least try to enjoy it. There they are. Hmm? Fuck. A crowd? Oh no. What day is it? The 17th? Why? Our son. Oh god, not again. That's why. Just in time for the holidays. We were beginning to fear the worst. How about we celebrate, sport? Oh, whoa. And finally get you home. Three, two, one, go! They are trying, are they? What are those eyeballs? That's the first thing I saw were those damn eyeballs. Where's the body at? Alright, focus. Oh, I see Rub and Sorvente in the top left. Plus, what's... That's it.
Ah, lag. Sweatshirt all the time. Wait, what? You had nothing to hide. You could actually call yourself a man. Now be a good son and listen to your parents this instant. Don't call me your son. Ooh, ooh, okay. You tried to make me a mindless slave. Just like girlfriend's parents did to her. Shut it. No! Parents are supposed to protect and care about their children. You took away my dreams. My happiness. My trust in others. My childhood. For so long, I thought this is what love truly was. But in reality, you were never my parents. And never will be. Wow. Pico, hit it. You got it, babe. He is standing up to himself. Whoa. Look at the crowd. That was good. Wait, whoa. Wait, what just happened? Whoa! Wait. Pico. Oh my god. What are those things on his head? Are those Christmas lights? You. Say something for once, damn it! Jeez. You know, I never really understood what you were. But now I, but I know very well who you are. Well, who you're supposed to be. Wait, what? Anyways, things are different now. You don't scare me anymore. They don't scare me anymore. Ooh, oh, he got it. Oh, he's on. 
I'm done letting you or anyone take control of my life. This ends now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's taking it. Boyfriend is going serious now. Oh my god, he's tearing. Look at him. This is supposed to be an emotional state. What's the song called? Oh, Genesis. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Turn the sound up because this is gonna get serious. Bring it on, demon. now S screaming cuz he had enough of this hey we did it. oh hey he's smiling what's he smiling for that demon's still here. Wait, well, wait, the smoke's clearing. Wait. Wait, he's... He's vanishing! He did... Ah, he did it! Huh? Are you okay, baby blue? What? Aww. It's over. It's finally over. It's a long way from being over, sweetheart. But I think I get what you mean. Where did they... I don't even want to know. Um... Anyways... How about we grab some hot chocolate and find a place to rest for the night? Sounds like a plan. Wow, that was good. But I do notice something. We have this to go. Wait, alternative nightmare. Um, okay, what is this? Wait a minute, is that who I think it is? After an emotional encounter with the Ferris couple, Eco and boyfriend seek shelter for the upcoming days. Thankfully, they are able to find such comfort and relax in the company of each other. The weight feels as if, as though it was has been lifted from their shoulders, and for once, they finally, the slightest, they feel the slightest bit of ease. Sorry if I can't read. <laughs> Later that fateful night, boyfriend decided to rest his head. Only this time, within the confines of his dream, he meets an oddly familiar face. Uh huh? Where am I? Oh my god, I knew it! It's- it's the regular boyfriend! Beep. <laughs> yeah, wow. Who? You're- we're- What do you want? Skidoo bip. A sing-off? I mean, I guess. Three, two, one. I had his girlfriend! Alright, let's see what we got. Oh no. You got this, boy. You got this. 
saw, boyfriend. Got this. Ah! Pretty good at this. Really good at this. Is this what you do for a living? Eh. I see. And let me guess, you two are together? Mm hmm. Bed. Right. Hm. You look so happy. Good for you. Three, two, one. Hey, let's see what else we got. Let's see what boyfriend has. Get back. Huh. All right, I get it. You're a singer. You get the girl. Everything in your life is just so easy, and you're exactly who I should have turned out to be. I get it. I get it. I get it. So why are you tormenting me like this? That beat too? Well, it's what you should be saying because it's true. So why are you not saying it? Why 
why don't you just throw it in my face that you are the perfect version of me? Beth? Just do it already. Three, two, one, go! You shouldn't give up, I gotta tell him. If you think there's someone perfect, you gotta... If there's a perfect version of yourself, you gotta, you gotta be that version. Take this as a lesson, everyone. You get better, let's do this. get it. I just don't know why. I wish you'd just tell me all the horrible things I don't want to hear. I've been told my whole life that I should end up as someone as you. And now that I have a good look at you, the absolute embodiment of everything I failed to be, you're not even who I want to be. Hell, you're not even me, are you? Boo do boop. Yeah, sorry about all that. Yes, I'm still getting over some things. You actually seem really cool. Your girlfriend too. Aw. Maybe we could even be friends? I understand if it's off the table after all that. Skadooby dooby doo. Really? I I really like that. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh. Boyfriend is awake, awoken by Pico shaking him gently, appearing rather concerned. EF? EF, wake up already. I know damn well you are the heavy sleeper. Ugh. Eh? Pico, where is... You alright? You are tossing and turning. Looked and sounded upset. I. Oh. It was all a dream. They weren't actually. What are you even dreaming about? I don't even know where to start. It felt so real. Fair enough. Well, try to head back to bed, alright? We had that double day with girlfriend or a new boyfriend tomorrow. Wait, new boyfriend? Oh, yeah. I'm glad she finally moved on. Hopefully he treats her right. She deserves it. Now I now that I think about it. What was his name again? Sent 
Oh, wait a minute. We're probably gonna get Senpai. Ah, uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Hold it. We might be getting a little ahead of ourselves. Can we get a light in here, please? That's better. Ahem. Hi. I'm Tama, the director of, well, the mod you are playing right now. I just wanted to pop in and thank you for playing on the behalf of the soft team. Well, you're welcome. We worked really hard on this, and for most of us, this is the first mod we've ever worked on. Well, the first mod you guys worked on, you guys did an amazing job. Feel free to check out the credits to find out who did what. We really hope you had fun, and that you'll stick around for future updates. That I will. We have so many things planned. Like new weeks, characters, remixes, and show, and so on. Feel free to check out the at soft mod FNF Twitter account for updates, leaks, and overall a good time. I guess that's all for now. Take care. Well, if you if you hope, well if you were hoping that uh I had a good time, can I say? This is a great mod to play. I did not really, I didn't expect a good story. This is really, oh, let me mute this. This is really a good mod. This is really a great storyline that benefits characters that have different personalities. So, for the boyfriend I've been playing as for the past 23 episodes, like Daddy Deer, like from Daddy Dearest to from Edeled to Hell, Jeff the Killer, Fireboy, Water Girl, all those mods I have played. I didn't expect them to have different kinds of boyfriends. They show so much creativity, and it's just, it's just amazing on how they do it. Now, speaking of uh, speaking of creativity, there the next episode I'm gonna be doing is gonna be. What some people are suggesting me to do is going to be called the Neo Mod. Now, what the Neo Mod is, they take the regular songs and they remix them to to their own personal song. With that song, I might with that I'm actually looking forward to. But if you guys are really excited for me to go ahead and do so, so I might as well end this episode now. But first, I want to give a shout out to the Soft Team for the people that have been created this mod. Actually, let's go to the credits and see who made what. Hey, shout out to these guys. They did an amazing, amazing job making this. I ain't heard of him. Alright. Well. There you go. That's who made the, uh, the mod. Shout out to them. They really deserve it. They deserve the support. The, the soft team, this is a message from you. Keep doing what you're doing to this because I'm actually looking forward to more of this in the future. But hopefully, you guys are too. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been, and if you're watching, this has been an hour recording. This is the longest episode of Friday Night Funkin' I've ever did. Hour, 20 minutes, worth it.